Hi there, it's Stephanie from Mommy Standard Time where we save minutes and savor moments. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of Vlogtober. So today I'm actually in the middle of filming a day in the life. It's just gotten started. I haven't even finished getting ready for the day, but I went to the grocery store and I have a little haul to show you. I like to do the haul kind of on its own because I do show you what we have for dinner for the week following the grocery haul. So it all, rather than have these mega long videos, I do cut them up a little bit so they're easier to watch. So today I'm going to show you what we got from Winco. We have a ton of food at our house still. We have a freezer full of farm-raised beef and pork. And we have like some, a lot of chicken sausage from Costco. And then I do also have frozen chicken breasts. So really the only thing I had to get today were some fresh items, you know, milk, produce, bread, bagels, that kind of thing. So I'll show you what we got and then we'll dive right in to our week of meals. Okay, so like I said, we have quite a bit of produce. Um, we pack school lunches every day and everybody likes fruits in their lunches. So we have grapes, strawberries, and pineapple. And then we also have our ever-present hearts of romaine, grape tomatoes, tomatoes on the vine, frozen peas, broccoli, um, a jalapeno and red onion for a recipe. Garlic, fresh garlic, because I think I might make one of my favorite recipes and the minced garlic out of the fridge just is not, it doesn't taste right <laughs> for this recipe especially. So fresh garlic. All the bell peppers were only 58 cents each. So I grabbed one of each color. It's honey crisp apple season. So we love to take advantage of that. Bananas, more bananas to go brown, you know, cause we like to make banana muffins around here. And then um, a few peaches, they didn't look great, but just a few to try. And then one of each kind of milk and some heavy whipping cream because I wanted to make potato soup at some point in the next couple of weeks or white chicken chili. And I think, I couldn't remember if I used half and half or whipping cream. So when in doubt, just by whipping cream, right? Because you can always mix it with milk. And then cream cheese um, for the nights where I make something that someone doesn't love, whoever it is. Um, sometimes I like to have hot dogs and buns on hand and they can make a chili dog or something simple for their own dinner. And then we have yogurt by request of one kiddo. It's a little treat. Our combo packs that we know and love every week. <laughs> Bagels were very popular at our house yes, um, last week, and we went through them really quickly. So I got some more to try, and we'll see if they are as popular this week, too. Someone got into the ramen that I bought last week to make yakisoba, so I needed to buy some more, and I just used the noodles for that. And then we're kind of running low on soy sauce, so I got more of that, refried beans, and then I wanted to try this no-sugar-added barbecue sauce at some point. It's going to go in the pantry I don't have plans for it, but it was on sale, so I grabbed it. Another loaf of bread, and then the hot dog buns. So that is it for this week, and now stick around because I'm gonna show you what we make with all of this food. So if you did go ahead and watch that Day in the Life video, you'll know that I didn't quite have the ingredients ready for the meal I had planned for tonight. And so in a change of plans, I decided to make cheesy chili mac, which is my kids' favorite and I love it too. And then I took hubby out to dinner. So the cheesy chili mac, I'm just gonna link the recipe below. It came from a blog and I do it pretty much exactly as written. It's so good. So I'm just sauteing onion in a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of chili powder, and then once the onions are translucent, I add um, brown sugar, one tablespoon, and then about four cloves of minced garlic. And it's just a lot of stirring because you don't want it to burn. And then at this point you would add fresh ground beef, but I already had some cooked and frozen ground beef in the freezer. So I'm just tossing that in. I didn't even thaw it. <laughs> I just put it in there. And I figured it would thaw and kind of get the flavor as it thawed out. And there, I think it was cooked with a little bit of onion. So there's a little bit of extra onion in there tonight. 
And then um, it's just two cups of elbow macaroni and then a can of tomato sauce and two cups of water. And I mean, I normally wait to put the water in until after I put the tomato sauce in and you'll see me, I stop myself <laughs> because I pour the water into the tomato can so we can get a little more of that tomato sauce out. So that's what I'm doing right there. And then you just give it a little bit of seasoning before cooking. I add some black pepper and I think I added salt. I just didn't film it. And then you put the lid on and let it simmer. And then mini picked corn as the side dish. And then once all, once the pasta is tender, you pull it off the heat and you add a bunch of cheese. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I would have much preferred this to my meal at the restaurant, honestly. Um, it ended up being, the appetizer was great. It was like a flatbread and hubby liked his dinner, which was a burger and fries. But my meal, I don't know. It just didn't have a ton of flavor. So this was the meal I wanted to make on Friday, <laughs> but I didn't have black beans at the ready. And so today I planned ahead and I have black beans that I made in the Instant Pot and they are ready to go for the recipe today. So right now I'm just getting everything in order. I have some red onion, some diced jalapeno. I think I only do about half of the pepper. And then I always have my garlic at the ready, locked and loaded in the mincer for when I'm ready. So once the garlic has cooked for about 30 seconds or so, I add cumin and then I add the rice and kind of saute that in there as well. So this is a cup and a half of long grain white rice and then the equivalent of one can of black beans. After adding some diced green chilies as well, it's time to add the liquid. Um, the recipe calls for three cups of chicken broth. I just used water and then about a tablespoon of the better than bouillon. So once the rice is tender, I just add some fresh cilantro and a squeeze of lime. And then I just serve this with fresh veggies and chips and it's a great one pot dinner. So I have a whole video devoted to this night's dinner. <laughs> it's what I would consider my last meal if I had to have a last meal. So good and more veggies. Monday, um, those yellow peppers out of the veggie tray just weren't getting eaten so I turned them into chicken fajitas. I ate mine as a salad. So this was a crazy night, so I just made chili dogs with canned chili. <laughs> Very gourmet. And then Wednesday was another really busy day, so I just went ahead and whipped up a quick sheet pan dinner. I have shared this in a video in the past. Woo, three busy days in a row. <laughs> um, after doing my office facelift, I was tired, so we just did takeout. So really, that's everything. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to continue to follow along with Vlogtober. Thanks so much for watching, and there won't be a video tomorrow, but I will see you on Monday.